Hello, and welcome to this Aqua Data Studio table editor overview. Aqua Data Studio is a universal database IDE and visual analytics productivity tool used by IT professionals that are working with data and databases. Aqua Data Studio allows you to develop and manage your databases in a variety of ways in terms of performing uh, database access, import, export, and having the ability to visually analyze your data. Aqua Data Studio supports over 30 different database platforms and works on a variety of operating systems such as Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. And finally, Aqua Data Studio supports relational, NoSQL, and cloud-based data sources, making your data easily and quickly accessible. Our agenda uh, for today is going to be an introduction to the table editor, exploring the table editor, altering a table, editing the table data, saving those changes, and finally viewing the new data. So let's get started. Here in my IDE, I have my uh, databases that I'm working with. So here I have a connection to a SQL Server database table. And here I've decided to pick the AdventureWorks uh, 2017 database and choosing the human resources schema and the table department. So what we'll do here is I've gone ahead and issued a select statement that will get me the records of all the employees in this department. So I'll go ahead and run this. And this brings out the result set. Now, before we go ahead and take a look at how to edit this data, let's better understand of how we can look at the alter table option. So here, if I go to the alter table option, you will see that we do have uh, the ability to look at uh, the various columns that are listed here. And if you wanted to, let's say, add a new column. So let's say I'll give it as, as time. Then here I'll put a, a, a time data type here. And what I'll do is we can also go ahead and, and check out the constraints. Now in the constraints section here, you'll give, we shown the list of constraints applied on that particular table and what columns it's applied to. Then you have the storage group. Uh, it's part of the primary uh, file group here. So that's why it's uh, showcasing that. Extended properties are very important, especially in SQL Server. So if you want to document anything to the table, like adding a table level comment, uh, this is where you would go out and do it. Next, we go to the permissions. This gives you a list of all the permissions of the various users and roles, and that is pretty handy. So if you want to go to a specific role you want to grant or revoke, you can choose that and perform those particular options. So here, then finally, if you were to go to the preview SQL, right now it's saying there's nothing change. So it's saying it's an invalid data type. It requires a scale. So it is giving you a warning. So here we can go back and uh, give it a scale or a change. Or I could just go ahead and, and use a timestamp. So now if you go and set this right, now it gives you the alter table statement. Next, let's take a look at the table properties section. In the table properties, it's similar to the alter. The only difference would be that there's no uh, uh, messages as well as there's no constraints and where you can actually go ahead and perform any kind of edits. So this is just a read only section so you can view it. And this is very useful if you wanna just get some metadata information. We will now move on to how we can actually go ahead and uh, edit uh, the table data. So what we can do is we can actually go ahead and and choose uh, edit uh, table data. And this brings about the table editor. 
this is specifically for the table data editor where you can see the various list of options here. Now, among these rows, I'll, I would like to go ahead and make a change to the executive uh, name. So here I'll just call it as executive management. Hit enter. And before I commit the changes, you will see that I can actually go ahead and preview the SQL. And this generates the SQL for me. And also, you have the ability to add either before or after a row. So I can actually go ahead and insert a row before or I can insert a row after. And then if I do not want to have those, I can just go ahead and select the row and delete it. So then again, if I go back here, it does not change the update statements in any shape or form. I can actually go ahead and hit Control S, or I could go ahead and click on this button that says Save and Refresh. So right now it's in Save and Refresh, and if I were to go back to my, um, my query editor here, if I were to go, so notice that right now the data is showing as executive. I'll go ahead and rerun this, and now we should see executive management. So in summary, Aqua Data Studio provides extensive capabilities to improve productivity for developers, analysts, and DBAs. It also helps you to perform data visualization, database administration, and much more. To learn more, uh, go ahead and head to www.aquafold.com to experience a free trial today. And I thank you uh, for your attention.